We are here at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Wauwatosa, where Justice Rebecca Bradley's campaign event will be held. The room where the justices event will be held is actually being used right now. That's why we are here in this hallway. Now, the Bradley campaign tells me that the justice spent her day in court in Madison. She voted early a few days ago in Wauwatosa, where she lives. The race for Supreme Court is very tight, with Bradley leading slightly in the latest Marquette poll. At times, the race has turned very very personal and some would say downright vicious. Bradley has come under fire for a column she wrote 24 years ago as a Marquette student where she made questionable comments of gay people and those with AIDS. She has since apologized for writing those words and says her views have changed. Now the campaign event begins tonight at 8 o'clock. We do expect the justice to be here sometime after that. In Wauwatosa, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. Our team coverage continues right now. 12 News Sheldon Dutez joins us now live from Madison with the Joanne Kloppenberg campaign. Sheldon? And Patrick, uh, Judge Kloppenberg supporters will gather here at Brink Lounge in Madison around 8 o'clock tonight when the polls close. And the stage and podium are already set, and Judge Kloppenberg is feeling cautiously optimistic. Now, as Christina just mentioned, the polls were very close in this race for the Supreme Court between Kloppenberg and incumbent Rebecca Bradley. Now, Kloppenberg has an accomplished legal career. She's currently a judge on the State Court of Appeals and spent 25 years as an assistant attorney general. Now, I just spoke with her campaign manager a short time ago who had this final message for voters who still have to head to the polls tonight. This election is about the future of our Supreme Court, about what kind of court we want it to be, what kind of justices we ought to be electing to that court. Judge Kloppenberg brings independence, experience, uh, and we think in integrity, and we think, uh, we hope that that message has gone out and resonated with voters. And Judge Kloppenberg voted this morning, and she spent the day doing some radio interviews. We'll hear more from her campaign throughout the evening. For now, we are live here in Madison. Sheldon Dutez, WISN 12 News.